Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and today I'm at the Pier Marquette River. In today's video, I'm using a Lama Glass Redline 4 to 10 pound rod, and I also got my brand new Akuma Aventa center pin reel. For my rig today, I'm just using a 15 gram Blood Run Bobber. I got two split shots above a barrel swivel. I'm using a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Got two more split shots a little bit farther down the line. And then I'm running a tandem hook. I got an egg loop, so I'm just gonna go ahead, put some of the ski in on that and just kind of tighten it down right there. There we go. Here it comes. Sweet. Let's show that hook up too. get a zoom in on the face of this fish with that camera real quick and bring it right on up nice first fish of the day guys you want to hold this i'll hold the fish up to the camera all right right there's the hook guys Just relax, there you go. There we go. You want to get the net if I'm recording? Sweet. <laughs> Is it male? Female. Female? Oh yeah, that's a big one. Wait, wait, don't nope. stay on me. You gotta get it, you gotta get it head, head first. Head. Oh, oh. Sweet. Okay, you gotta hold it up. That's a big one. Sweet.
Fish, 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 fish. Small one. It's a little jack, I think. Here we go, I need the net. It's already like right here. Double skiing sack on this one, or double skiing hooks. This actually might be bigger than I thought. It just looked small at first when it started coming right towards me. Here it comes, here it comes. It's coming right towards us. Watch the words. Here he comes, round two. Sweet. Nice fish. Hey, at least this one lays less, at least. <laughs> from both hooks. But got some nice little fish. Using a net as a multi-function tool. It's it's coming. It's it's just this is a big fish. Coming up. Okay, okay, okay. Here he comes. Oh, well, well, it's not that big as I thought. This is a really good fighter. Sweet. 
<laughs> now I'll be showing you guys what I'm using on Pier Marquette Lake. Right here I have a reel with 30 pound braid. After the braided line, I'm running a barrel swivel. Now I got about nine foot of fluorocarbon leader total. And we're actually gonna be rocking out P-Line laser minnows. Right here is the two ounce size. A lot of people recommend running these jigs a little bit off the bottom. However, when I hooked up on my fish, I was actually bouncing it off the bottom and actually had my fish on the downfall hit. Yep, 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 get the net, get the net, get the net, it's a big one. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Here we go. It's pulling a lot of line, oh, it's way out there. Oh, it's still on. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's gone. Oh, you're kidding me. Did you see that? Bent me out. When I'm carrying salmon eggs, as soon as I catch the fish, what I do is I end up, I'll either rip the gills out or you can stab it right into the heart and that will bleed out your fish. And that way, you're gonna have nice blood-free skeins. I will gently kind of massage and pull apart the skeins from the centers. Some people can use scissors, but when you use your fingers, it doesn't damage all of your eggs. To start off when curing salmon eggs, what you wanna do is get yourself some of this Potsky's Fire Cure. You want to get it in the red color. You can use natural or pink. They do all catch fish. You can use some of this firepower. This is going to be your scent for your skeins. It's going to help the salmon kind of key in on it once it's drifting through the current. When you are applying the powder, you want to generously sprinkle it on top of your skeins, making sure that you get all of your eggs covered. You don't want to use too much of the fire cure because that can cause burning in your eggs and dark discoloration that the salmon don't really care for and your eggs won't preserve as long. So when you're doing them, you just kind of gently go all the way across every egg. Just gently sprinkling it all over them. And once you get the side with all of the eggs pretty much covered up, what you want to do is flip your skeins over, which will reveal your membrane side of your skein. And you can go extra heavy on this side of your skein when you're carrying it. Over it. <laughs> you will have to flip your skeins back over. As you can see, I've got a lot of eggs that still haven't got any of the cure in it. So what you'll do, kind of massage them in. Some people like to use gloves. You don't have to, but you're just gonna end up with really nice pink fingers once you're done. Once you get all of your skein and eggs covered with this fire cure, what you're gonna wanna do is get yourself a gallon Ziploc baggie, and then you're gonna put the skeins in the baggie overnight. And also, if you want, right now, you can use some of the firepower that's going to be all your krill scent and you can let that sit in your skeins. Your final step is going to be the next morning once you've let your skeins cure in the fire cure overnight along with some of the fire powder that's a krill scent. You, what you're going to want to do is get yourself some paper towels. You're going to dry off the excess juice that's just remaining on the skeins and then you're going to take this Baraxo Fire from Potskis and you're going to gently sprinkle that over top of your skeins. What you're going to want to do is wrap the skeins individually in paper towel and then you can go ahead put those in bags and they'll be ready to fish and they can last up to a month or two in the fridge that way and if you need be you can also freeze them all right it's the next morning we're getting some paper towels out we're taking it out of the bag we're going to layer it on dry it out and then afterwards we're going to put baraxo fire on
All right, we just dried off the skin with a bunch of paper towel. We're gonna go ahead and apply Baraxo Fire now. I had a blast at Salmon Camp. We caught lots and lots of fish, got to experience the lake as well as the river. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. However, one tip I would recommend is using a lighter tip rod when fishing the lake. I used a more stiff walleye jig style rod and hooking up was no problem. It was landing the fish on a short, stiff rod. It made the battle really intense and my arm tense up a lot, which I think made the fish run even harder. So definitely run a lighter tip rod. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.